Hello, developers. Welcome back to Anbus Hobbies. Today, we're delving into another powerful design pattern in Java, the command design pattern. If you've ever needed a way to encapsulate a request as an object, parameterize clients with queues, and support undoable operations, you're in for a treat. Stick around as we explore the basics, showcase a real-world problem this pattern solves, break down the UML diagram, provide a hands-on code example, discuss its advantages, highlight common pitfalls, and wrap up with a solid conclusion. Imagine you have an application with various user actions, and you want to decouple the sender of a request from the object that processes the request. You also want to support undoable operations and parameterize clients with different requests. This is where the command design pattern comes into play, providing a clean and flexible way to encapsulate a request as an object. The command pattern involves four main components, the command interface, concrete command classes, the client, and the invoker. The command interface declares an execute method, and concrete command classes implement this interface, encapsulating specific requests. The client creates concrete command objects and associates them with receivers. The invoker asks the command to execute the request, and the concrete command knows how to fulfill the request. In this example, we'll create a remote control that can execute different commands, such as turning on the light, turning off the fan, and adjusting the volume. Command is the command interface. Light on command, light off command, fan on command, and fan off command are concrete command classes. Light and fan are receiver classes. Remote control is the invoker class. Let's dive into some code. I have a Java project set up, and we'll implement the command design pattern to demonstrate how to encapsulate and parameterize requests. I'll guide you through each step, and by the end, you'll have a practical understanding of how to use the command pattern in your own projects. This example demonstrates how the command pattern allows you to encapsulate requests, turning on, off lights and fans, as objects, making it easy to parameterize clients with different commands. The invoker, remote control, can then execute these commands without knowing the details of how they are implemented. Now, let's talk about the advantages of using the command pattern. 1. Decoupling, the command pattern decouples the sender of a request from the object that processes the request, promoting a more flexible and maintainable design. 2. Undoable operations, you can easily implement undoable operations by keeping a history of executed commands. 3. Parameterization, clients can be parameterized with different requests, allowing for dynamic and versatile behavior. However, it's important to be aware of potential pitfalls. 1. Complexity, in simpler scenarios, introducing the command pattern might add unnecessary complexity. 2. Increased classes, the pattern can result in a large number of command classes, especially in projects with numerous commands. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to the command design pattern in Java. We've covered the basics, walked through a real-world example, discussed its advantages, and highlighted common pitfalls. 
Whether you're building GUI applications, handling user actions, or implementing undo features, the command pattern is a valuable tool. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more design pattern insights and Java tutorials. Happy coding, and I'll catch you in the next one.